All right, yo, 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 KBK, Qual by Carl here. Uh, another tier list video, this time for Injustice 2, because, yeah, what else would it be? We're back here on the tier list maker, because where else would I make a tier list from? Um, this is, this is a tier list as of 2022, there's no need to specify the day, because it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna rank the characters in order, in my opinion. Kinda hard to see my screen. Hold on, we like brighten it up. There we go. Should be fully charged. But uh yeah, we're just gonna do this for fun. I'm not really gonna specify too much because I made the last tier li tier list video kinda long. So I'll try to make this one a little bit shorter if I can. As I say that, it's already a minute long. Here we go, S tier. Who would be the best character? Yeah, actually, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it in order because I don't feel like doing it like like this. We'll just get to that and let it. Um, Batman. I think Batman is S tier. I think throughout the entire game's life cycle, he's always been like higher end tier. Um, yeah, higher end tier. Not so much low tier. I don't think he's ever been low tier. Um, maybe I'll make an injustice. Gods among this tier list but i never really really played it competitively so oh uh, yeah batman i think it's s tier he's obviously not like top i think he's top five minimum in my opinion he just has a lot of he has a lot of good like pressure tools with his mechanical bats one two is plus four which means he can gel it into his back one one and uh you gotta do with that mix up his jump into his the best jump into cross up ever. Again, his vortex is really good because of the uh, you know jump to cross up ambiguous setups. His damage is really good, thirty percent every time, thirty three percent you know, thirty plus percent every time he touches you. Uh, great anti air bat, you know when you meter burn it hits pretty much in front of him, behind him, and you know on top of him. He doesn't have the best wake ups. And his strings are pretty stubby, and he has short T-Rex arms, but his 4-3 is really good. It reaches far. Good good overhead. Um, um, that's about it, honestly. That's all I got to say about Batman. He's just not... he. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say he's, like, hard to play, because he can kind of just, like, play the same for most of the cast, except for, like, a few. Because, you know, he has, like, a lot of tools... Against like aerial characters, grounded characters. So, his only bad thing is that his wake up game is kind of limited. Even though like meter burn anti air bat is like fast, you can still like stuff him from not doing a wake up. Other than that, wake up slides risky and not the best. But yeah, bats keep him safe and he can punish. So, yeah, just watch out for Batman. Superman, Superman. Um, I still think, I think he's, like, at the edge of S tier. I think he's, like, right there. I'm gonna get into it, like, later. But I think, I think Superman's, like, really strong still. Even though, like, so, even though, like, his 4-2-3 breath is still, like, a mind, not, like, a mind game thing. Most characters just backdash him if you just, so, basically, if he does 4-2-3 cancel and to trade 4-2-3 breath, you basically just backdash him. Now he has options. He could jump and air dash and catch you, or he could do four two cancel into trait, which is I think is plus one. Because I think if he does like four two three and then cancels the trait, I think it's like zero or minus one on block. So um, yeah. Um, he has great damage. His trait is really good. Increased damage and armor breaks. Projectile is kind of slow in startup, but hits full screen. The only way to avoid it is to block or jump. Meter burning it is an overhead, so I gotta watch out for that. Uh, heat zap, great damaging projectile. It's a high attack though, so you know. Um, what else does Superman have? His wake ups are, they work, but they're obviously punishable. The Superman punch, the Rising air grab, they're all punishable, so just watch out for those. Um, 
Other than that, you really don't need any of the strings. Just use 423. There's no reason to use anything else, honestly. <laughs> um, every time he touches you, he has a launcher back back to a three meter burn for a pop up. Scoop. Meter burn it for a pop up. Um, uh, frost breath or ice breath, whatever. Safe on block. Pushback. Slight pushback. So. He never, he never should get punished, so Superman just has to play footsies and neutral, and uh, yeah. That's, uh, but that's really about it. Um, his biggest weakness, getting out zoned, in terms of like, just getting either out zoned in the projectile game. But he can always make a come. well he always has a good strong comeback factor, because he has a good corner game. With like his uh, dive bomb setups, or like his crossover, air dash jump three setups, that, that's ambiguous. He has two two three overhead ender or two two scoop, so that's a mix up. Back one low laser, you can cancel that to ice breath. So um, yeah, he's still good, still strong. Put him at A two though. Now Wonder Woman is really weird because I'm pretty sure like no one played her besides you know like Young Monster, rewind a little bit and uh, who's that other guy? Can't remember his name. Oh well, didn't matter. No one played him. I think Dragon did, but whatever. A little bit. But yeah, no, no one really plays Wonder Woman, so I don't really have an opinion on her. I know she's like really annoying because it's hard to get her to get punished because her shield bass is pretty fast, and she can meter burn it to like be plus. I think it's plus two when she meter burns it on block. The little shield bass thing. Um, you can punish her shield toss, the the straight ground one. The air ones, I I believe she can make herself safe if she meter burns it when it like retreats back for like an extended combo. I, I think, I, I don't really play Wonder Moon, but I know. Uh, her little whip attack, the high whip attack, I think that's like minus nine on block, but it's a high, but you know, Injustice, there's like no like blocking button, so... And some characters can't even, like, duck it, like Hellboy, Swamp Thing. Well, I think Swamp Thing can. It just depends. I know the shield hits mid, the, the whip the hip whip hits high, so. Uh, her back to overhead, good range, like, half screen, quarter screen. Um, two, two, three, that little, like, plus 12 on block string with that huge gap. I swear, when you play her online, when you try, even when you have like a six frame down one and you like try like to interrupt it, it still hits you for no reason. Like it still trades. Like I don't know why that happens, but it's like a big ass gap and you still can't interrupt it for some reason. I don't know what it is, but yeah, she's a well rounded character. She's just really boring. Her traits, her traits just kind of like random, so you can't really rely on it too much. Um, if you like, if you could pick which trait she would have, then I would say she's like S tier. But I would just keep her at A tier. Still solid, well balanced. Just no one plays her. Uh, same thing with Supergirl. She's like the thing with Supergirl is that um, when you kind of like know how to play her, then it becomes a game of neutral. And she has good neutral tools. Like, don't get me wrong, but. I might put her like at the top of B, maybe edge of A. It depends on where I put the rest of the characters. So I can rank them up later. But Supergirl is really strong. At least like when she first came out, she was like the online uh, online warrior. I think even now, in 2022, people still play her just because, oh, I have teleport. I'm getting zoned out. Whee! I'm going to teleport. Meter burn it. Free combo launcher. Overhead hits on the other side. Oh, I got knockdown lasers. I can just spam those. Ha <laughs> ha, character trait. Yeah, whatever. KJ Jones, I'm looking at you, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not calling you out. But, uh, yeah, her down one ice breath mix up. It's, um, it can be kind of troublesome. Most of the time, I kind of just, like, back that shit or, like, just, like, walk back. Uh, when she meter burns at, I'm pretty sure it's safe, like, at minus six or seven i mean that's not safe and injustice you can punish it but at the at the max range yeah it's gonna be hard to do that um her down two is minus 11 but it's seven frame startup so just like be careful when like supergirl players just like mash on it 
after they do like meter burn ice breath or whatever or do you do be- or if they do like their best string back one two three and it's like minus four if they just mash down two then yeah you, you can punish it but you have to do like a mid doing a high is kind of risky because um you know it's down two so it kind of it makes her crouching a little bit and then she hits you from the crouch state so yeah uh it's uh just you gotta like wait you gotta like bait her um her one one two string plus three i believe on block so and her back one's like 11 frames 13 frames right up I, I can't remember it's a fast mid basically good mid good knockdown ender um her back to to grab overhead combo launcher tool it's decent but it's you know negative her down one hits low i think it's nine frame startup and it hits low so yeah it's really good only hers captain colds and uh brainiacs hit low they're down ones i believe maybe even um i was gonna say uh canary but i don't think so no i don't think so no, I think Flash is hit. Yeah, Flash. Flash hits slow, too. I forgot. Yeah. So, yeah, her down one hits slow, so... Gotta be careful for that. Otherwise, her uh, float cancel combo is pretty cool. They kind of scale, but, you know, they're swaggy. Uh, on her knockdown, she can do, like, air dash. She can do float into air dash and then cross you up with her jump one. So, just be careful with those. It does kind of stuff your wake up depending on the character you play, so... Just keep that in mind. Um, other than that... Just kind of like played a lame game with her. Well, not the lame game, but just like she's like a well rounded character, so you have to just play like good fundamental injustice fighting game stuff, you know. She has good neutral, good counter zoning, good zoning, so just uh, keep your eyes out. Be more vigilant. I don't know. Aquaman. Oh, man. Ooh, I was about to put an S tier. Oh. I'll put him at B tier. He's still strong. He still has the best. Not well, not the best, but he still has like the the most boring play style. Like y'all want to talk about zoners and like guys like Dark Side and Deadshot and guys like that, but like look at Aquaman. He literally like lames you out. Only thing you can do about his water shield is literally either use like like a armor breaking move like a super move or superman's trait or bane's level three trait or just something that actually completely nullifies his uh water shield because when he meter burns it, it knocks you away full screen and it's it's all again to um trident toss and uh tentacle strike good thing they nerfed it but from being a combo launcher but you know he still gets good damage his scoop um, I didn't realize it, but you can actually do, I think it's like a three frame link. You can do, uh, like, uh, a, a string into a scoop, meter burn, and you can back three off of it. Or if you just want to be safer, you just do down two and then back three. You still get, like, the same amount of damage. I think you lose, like, like I think, like, 5% more, maybe, if you do down two. You know, it's scale, so. Still a good character. Uh, back one, two, back one, two, three. Low starter string. Um. 4-2, half screen low. It is pun- it is punish buttocks, like minus 12 or 14. But he recovers kind of quick, so you got to be on top of it for your punishes. And, uh, yeah, just, um, his, his has, he has a great down two. Try to rush. Super chip. Um, what else do I have to say? Uh, his trait gets him out of trouble most of the time. Mm, well, I would say like it, if you if you use the trait correctly, then yeah, you can get out of combos and punish them. So uh, yeah, so all around character, he's really good. Atrocitus, my sub main. You're like B tier. Kitty Cat, Deck Star, might be the best trait in the game, or one of the best traits in the game for sure. Because the only way you can deal with it is to push block it or just block it and let him get his pressure. And if you get and if you give Atrocitus his pressure, then he can do a whole bunch of chip damage like combo strings. Because he can do four two two three into breath, which is safe on most characters except the ones that crouch it, like Flash, Catwoman, a lot of the uh, female characters. 
Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, they kind of whiff. Even like Robin, the uh, the Vomit Breath, the Napalm Vault, or Napalm Vomit, it like whiffs. Even on Meter Burn, it's still high, so. Uh, yeah, Atrocitus is very unsafe, but when he has Dexter, it becomes super safe and plus, and he can actually use his plus frames, and, you know, he has mix. You can fuzzy guard it, obviously, but online, kind of difficult. Um, what else? He has good mids. Like, no one really talks about Atrocitus' mids. Like, his back two, the little sword, blood sword thing, that's a good mid. Uh, his forward one is like 11 frames. It has some decent range too. He can end into a knockdown or it, it, it ends with like forward one, three overhead splat, or you can do forward one, uh, blood NATO, cool eight thing. So low attack, pretty good. Um, one, one, one is plus three on, um, on block. His like little high starter string. His, um, his two, two is actually good. It has like some good range. It, I think it's like zero on block. I don't know. I, have to remember, I don't remember the frames. But it's like that little double hand, uh, double fist swing he does, the 2-2 two, two string. When he has Dexter, he can extend it to like 2-2-3, two, two, and he gets a combo launcher. So, um, yeah. Um, he has a good anti-air. It's fast start up, little upward napalm vomit. He can combo into it with uh, down one blood nato. Uh, his damage is pretty good. Um, it can scale... If you don't, if you do like his down two, uh, if you do like four two two, um, blood nato back three jump three down two into another blood nato, it does scale it. But at that point, he already does a thirty percent anyway, so it's not that bad. Um, Dexter kind of works like Batman's traits, except it's a little bit slower for his his own little blood balls to come out. So I gotta be careful on that. And. Uh, that's really it. His shield is really good too. A little Dexar shield. It doesn't work against Starfire's trait or Black Adam's low lightning strike, unfortunately. So it doesn't block all projectiles, but most of them. Oh yeah, it also doesn't work against Dark Side's meter burn lasers. Any any version of them, it doesn't work against that. It doesn't work against Cyborg's trait or Robin's Birdarang meter burn stuff. So yeah, the shield's kind of it's give and take, you know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Hold on. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. Um, let's see who we got next. We got Grodd. Oh boy, Grodd. What do we do about Grodd, y'all? Yo, I've been seeing like a lot of Twilight clips. He's really good with Grodd. Makes me a believer. But what do I rank them? I didn't mean to put them. I didn't mean to put them there. Um, so what does Grodd really have? I'll just put him at C tier for now. That's what I'm thinking. But let's just look at what Grodd has. He has a great uh, down one, good round starter, can easily get his bar, secret sweep, really good move, lowers his hitbox, reaches really far. Uh, his two two string, it's a good stagger string for his uh, stampede cancels. It's actually not that hard to do with stamp P cancels. I was testing them out earlier. It's actually pretty cool. But um I don't really do grod combos because I don't know. I mean I know how you do it. You have to hit like his like leap and then like you have to like to do like the jump three like very late and then like do back two. Or like is it back two or four two? I can't remember. But you know the little restand move. That's kinda hard to do sometimes, I ain't gonna lie. So yeah, I, I, I'm like, forget Grog combos. Um, his uh back one grab strain, a little close on her move, unsafe. But it's a cool launcher. But I think Grog mostly just lives and dies by the Vortex. And his Vortex is... um Out of all the Vortex characters, Batman... Does Atrocitus count? Uh, that's just straight up mix. Uh, Batman, um, not Cheetah, who was it I was thinking of? Oh yeah, Firestorm, I guess. Um, who's a Vortex character? I, I'm thinking of one, but I can't remember. Well, whatever. <laughs> I can't remember all of them. Of all, of all the uh, Vortex characters, he's just kind of like, 
in my opinion in my opinion i think it's the weakest because even though, now his jump two is pretty crazy it swings him around and, and it can hit on the other side his jump two is pretty crazy um his like little air grab like if he like restands you i think he can do like his like little uh lunge or like primal lunge and he can like let the little grab uh launcher when he meter burns it that's pretty good but i think you can back that shit if he e either if he messes up or if the timing's not off or timing's not right so um other than that, his, he has, like, no strings. I mean, he has strings, obviously. He has 1-1-2, one, 1-plus-2, one, two, one two, um, 2-2-3, two, 2-2 two, two, two grab, back 1, grab, and uh, standing 3. And that's, like, it, right? He has, like, back 2, 4-2, two, so. Uh, his trait's kind of funny. Cause, like, the way he, like, lifts up in the air. <laughs> that's kinda, that's not the funniest thing I've ever seen. Um, I didn't realize that when he has his trait... That when he does like the little ground pound, it's not unblockable. I kept thinking for the longest time it's unblockable because I kept seeing everyone get hit by him. Like, oh, is that unblockable? But I, I tested, I labbed it, and it's actually low. It's just pretty fast and it tracks. So I'm like, oh dang. Um, the little the little uh, body splash, a little like mind blast thing, Heka plus. I don't know how you like. I know how you can combo into it, but like it's like hard to combo into it when he does it like not like raw, but like. If he does off of a string and he, um, you know, meter burns it or non meter burns it, you have to like immediately like do like a lunge or something. That's kind of weird. Um, he has projectile immunity when he does down one, down down one when he has trade on. So um, that's cool for him. It only lasts like five seconds though, but he can actually still have it even when the trade ends. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, uh, he's. I think he's just. I think he's all right. Again, he can get out zoned. Um, his, dam his damage is pretty crazy, though. I ain't gonna lie. But um, I know Stampede cancels can be plus. I believe. I think Twilight had said that one time before, or something like that. But I mean, I don't know. I don't really see a real. I mean, I know he's a real threat, but in my opinion, I don't think he's as good as these other characters. So he's got to be C tier. That's just how it is. D tiers for Deadshot. Oh man. Um, I may maybe I'll see these characters for later. But yeah, that shot just. I know he has mix back one two up three four two three. Um, you know the little low overhead overhead string. I I get it. Low stagger back one. That's cool and all, but he has no damage. His uh trait is kind of meh. The only one you want to use is the pushback blue bullets. His rifle is still decent, but his projectiles just have a lot of recovery. And he kind of gets out done anyway. Teleport characters really F him up. And there's a lot of teleport characters in this game. A lot. Um, one thing that Deadshot had, I mean, he's probably the worst. No, no, he's not the worst character. But he's like down there, basically, bottom five. Now, it's not much else to say about him. His strings are kind of booty, uh, booty. Except for, you know, four, two, three. And, um,. Back one, two, up three. That's a good string still, but yeah, his combo his combo pathing is limited. His back three and four three suck. Jump ins are decent. Jump in one is really good. But other than that, he has nothing else. Dead shots just Just not that good. That's all. Just not what he used to be. That's all. Okay, Harley Quinn. Man, you are the most annoying character. How high should I put you? Because I know you're not that bad. Well, maybe you are. I don't know. I don't really have an issue fighting her. She's just super annoying. Uh, I'm going to put you at bottom of B tier. Maybe you should be at C tier, but I'll put you here. And I think I say that because um, even though her projectiles don't do a lot of damage, she recovers really quick. So she can like, not like, well, she could pretty much spam you, basically. Her cupcakes are annoying, meter burn cupcakes. Her trait is kind of annoying, too. Um, her cartwheel, the options she gets from it are kind of limited because she, all of the other options are, are like, interruptible. Either interruptible or, or punishable, like little multi-gun shots. She can only do like one shot, then she rolls back and you can punish her. The little bomb thing, the little low bomb that she throws. I think that's unsafe too. I don't really know this character that much. The little regular um, cartwheel where she does like the little launcher part. That's unsafe. So 
she really has to like open you up and she has like some mix i think she has i think it's four two the little four two two where she does like the little low into high and it does like the cartwheel then she does back three i think that's a that's a mix-up tool and i think what was that string? I think it's back to the little overhead string. I don't, I don't, I don't know the character, man. I don't know the character. Um, that's all she has. She just zones out. Uh, she just, she just zones. That's basically all, and she can get out zoned pretty easily. Doctor Fate, Starfire, Dark Side, and uh, maybe even like Red Hood too. Well, maybe not actually. I take that back. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Harley Quinn, her jump two, her jump normals are pretty good. You know, jump two, jump three, they're pretty good. Um, her down two is mad annoying too because it hits twice, and it hits her like actually like in front of her, above her, and like behind her. It feels like sometimes her her down two is kind of annoying, and uh, that's it. I mean, her corner game is pretty decent. You know. I think her gunshots are plus two on block if you block them, but they're highs. But, you know, if you block them, she's plus. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't know. She's like B tier. Bring her there. Oh, okay, Flash. The most controversial pick. He could be top five or just top ten at any given moment. So for a character that has probably the best mix in the game the best mix-ups, and the best damage. I mean, how could you not put him top... How could you not put him in S-tier? What's keeping him away from S-tier? Lack of projectile? Well, he has a projectile parry. So, um, that's really good. And, and that projectile parry, parries, it evades all project... I, I think... Well, if, if, if Starfire holds down her trait, then it won't work. But against like Cyborg's trait, um, uh, Hellboy's gunshots, it, it, pretty much everything you can like throw at someone, uh, Flash can like evade it for that short duration. Um, oh man, Flash is just so overkill. His down two is pretty good. His down, uh, his down two is really good. What am I saying? Um, the only thing you can really do against Flash is punish his lightning kicks. If they do like 4-2, the overhead into lightning kicks or down 1-2, lightning kicks. Um, if he does the, the sonic ground pound, the sonic, is it called sonic ground? I don't know what it's called. If he does the, oh, actually, I'm thinking about it wrong. If he does the running man and then he does the sonic pound, you can actually interrupt it. And I believe, and I do believe you can actually interrupt it. No, wait, actually, wait, 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 wait I'm thinking about this wrong. Hold on. The Running Man ground pound version is actually unsafe, but the regular, like, from standing ground pound is actually safe, I believe. I think it's, like, minus three, and the Running Man version is, like, minus seven or eight. Because I know you can, like, down one punish it into something. But the standing ground pound, I think you can interrupt it if you have a fast enough down two or whatever. I believe you can interrupt it. I know I've seen Blue Beetle do that, Batman, uh, Adam even... You know, characters like that. So that's like the only thing you can really do, to like to stop them. But again, you know, if you're not fast enough, then free launcher, forty percent dead. Um, Flash is trait. Best way he gets combos. But other than that, he has a good anti aerial move, the little hover shit where he like catches you in the air with little hurricane, 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 hurricane hands. I think you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah. High damage, high mix ups. For right now, I'll put him at A tier because I don't know where else I want to put him. I think I'll put him above Superman, actually. I'm going to be honest. I might put him above Superman. But yeah, you know, I'll put him at S tier because I feel like he's better than Superman, but he's not in the same tier as Superman, in my opinion. In my opinion. So. Um, Blue Beetle. Honestly, I always thought you were kind of overrated, in my opinion. I know Deoxys is like a beast of Blue Beetle. And Rewind playing him a little bit, too. And I think a tie did as well. OG a tie. But I don't just... I just don't really see a whole lot with you. You're kind of here with Grodd, honestly. I'm going to hit you in C tier. Blue Beetle just gets out-zoned. 
His damage is pretty good though. His sweep's really fast, long reaching. But his traits kinda give or take, you know. Do you want do you want the projectile or do you want the longer range for like better conversions? You know, it's like alright, that's cool and all, but Um his mix ups revolve around his slow special, which is hecka unsafe. It's like minus twenty five. And his overhead string, if you don't use like the little claws, then it's really short range. And uh, that's pretty much it, honestly. Like, his strings are kind of lame. Not lame, obviously, but, you know. Uh, he, well, he has a back one restand. That's cool. Um, his corner combos are pretty cool. He has flight cancel. So if one, three, flight cancel, upward, you know, diagonal, whatever. Um, his Cheerio Blaster, <laughs> Blue Cheerio Blaster, are really fast recovery. You can just basically just, like, repeat it over and over again. Build a lot of meter. I don't want to get in my drink. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, what else can he really do? He has good jump ins jump one, jump two, jump three. Um, I just don't really see him as a strong character. I just don't think he's as strong as these guys. And he's, I don't think he's barely as good as Grodd, in my opinion. That's just me. All he has is the little low stab special in the back two for mix ups and you know um those work. But I feel like he has to do a lot. He's kinda of like Frost and like MK eleven, he has to do like a lot of work to be on par with these other characters. Now again I will say these all these characters are viable, except for Ralph. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, all these characters are survival, but um, Blue Beetle is a no-no. He's going to C tier, my opinion. Uh, Bane, you're right there here. I'll put you right behind him. Only good thing about Bane is that he can, he can um, kind of like keep his pressure going as long as he has Venom. But if he doesn't, then he's kind of a a big old dude with no damage. I don't know. I think I, I don't know if they change. Oh, I don't know if I don't know for sure, but um, I think his trait cooldown back in Injustice One was faster than Justice Two. I I think I can't really. I don't have any evidence for that. I'm just doing it by visual indications. Um, Bane has the highest potential damage in the game. Well, not potential. He has the highest damage in the game with his combos and trait combined. It's kind of funny because, like, he builds meter by using his trait because he can, like, interrupt grabs with the little uppercut and the uh, elbow drop and the command grab. So, um, that's how he builds meter. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, his charge, most people just back, uh, meter burn back three to counter it or just jump over him. But if he goes level three, obviously he can break armor. His uh, four two down version overhead. He can meter burn it to uh, keep it unclashable. Um, he has some great tick throws. Down one, down two, uh, back one, one, and uh, back three, two. No, back two, three. Sorry, back two, three. Those are his tick throws, I believe. I think standing one works, I think. I don't know. I think I, I saw it in Justice 1. I saw some old gameplay. Standing two, watching two, the command grab. Um... um Oh yeah, four two downward also command gra uh, command grab ticks as well. I forgot about that. Same thing with like one one down two, same thing. Um, body splash is pretty cool. Although I will say his body splash when he does like one one three kind of whips, but it, it still hits because it's really fast. I almost forgot his his uh standing one is seven frames. It's really fast, so he can he can technically punish you really good. Well. Yeah, he can punish you pretty good, uh, pretty badly, if you don't be, if you're not careful with your uh, strings or your special moves, because he can punish you. And that Sam one has some pretty decent range for a high, and it's fast. Um, other than that, the thing with Bane is that he has to take a lot of risk, and his reward for it is it's 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 high, I suppose. Like if he does like his back two three tick throw, you can jump it. But if he does back two three like elbow drop, you get hit by it or if he stops, he's punishable. Or he does like back to one. So low overhead, you know. Um, 
uh, even if like his, I think his best tick throw in my opinion is actually the down two one because of the fact that on hits, if if the down two hits and he does command grab, he's safe because you can't. Well, he'll he'll be, he'll just drop to the ground. If he anti airs you with down two and he does command grab, as uh, the options are like, he can still get a combo with one two three. You know, tick throw if it hits. If if the tick throw is blocked, then it works. So um, technically. I think he does have, not like an infinite, but um, command grab. His command grab can loop because of the fact that the knockdown frames are the same as the startup frames for the command grab. It was like some video I saw for Bane a while ago, a long time ago. But uh, yeah, he takes his turn back a lot. So, well, not a lot, but he can. But um, most of the time, Bane's not exactly the best. But he's always he always brings a hype. I have a, I have a weird feeling that they'll bring him back in Injustice Three because he's like the core of the game's like hype. Because without him, he would, like this game would not be as hype if Ban was not in here for the high damage and the crazy mix and everything. So thank you, Biohazard. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just leave him there at C tier. I kind of hate to see him go. I mean, go that low, but again, no projectiles. Easy to get zoned out. Um, even though in level 3, it doesn't last that long. So if you just wait him out, then that's it. So, uh, yeah. Poison Ivy. You are, no pun intended, a thorn in my side. <laughs> sorry. Mm, I hit my mic. I'm sorry about that. Poison Ivy. Oh, I didn't know. I made a figure out A's here. Um... I think you're like right there with Aquaman. You're pretty strong. A lot of people downplayed her at the start of the game, and I'm not gonna lie, I thought she was kinda lame too. I think they gave I think they gave her some buffs mid patch in the game life cycle. And she's pretty strong. She has the best neutral in the game because she actually plays footsies in neutral, so uh her four three have a long range and it hits twice. Her back two down two, great neutral tool. Her four two I think it's a, I think it's actually, yeah, it's a, it's a mid, or is it the little, you know, the little four, two, one, three or two ender, the little overhead or like the little high ender. It, you mostly see at the end of combos. That's basically what I'm talking about. Um, her two, one, three string has a low in it. Actually, it's a low overhead and she can launch after it mid screen and in the corner. Um, her one, two, one, two, one, two, blah, 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 string, multi hitting stuff, good damage and stuff. Her trait is pretty annoying. And she can still combo after it if she does like her little uh, Ivy's kiss thing, command grab thing. So um, when it resands you. So yeah, that little twerp nightshade, kind of annoying. She can counter zone with her little drills. And she has a little bark that, they, that, that makes her take no chip damage. And she has damage over time with a little garden, uh, garden of like roses with like the thorns. So... She has a lot of utility and her like her little stance with the little plant ball string. Pretty good too. Has a low, has a launcher to it, and it has like a meter burn part where she does like a lot of chip damage. So she has a lot of utility. Um I mean she has she has some good walk speed too. I almost forgot to say that her walk speed's really good. Her jump ins are pretty good too. Jump two. Well, she doesn't really need to jump to play neutral, obviously, because you only you only need to jump like her in her in between her combo. So, uh, yeah, uh, you know, she's really good. I think she's a strong character. Can she get zoned out? Sure, but you're gonna have to like out damage her in the zoning war if you do it. So, and just watch out for her way to burn four three because that shit will hit you every time. Should have muted my mic for that. My bad. Okay, we got Brainiac. Um, Shatid. And Mason the Moon Cow. My favorite Brainiac players. Oh man, I want to put him at S tier so bad, but I feel nah, I'm putting S tier. I think he's I think I think he's strong. I think he's top seven. Maybe even top five, in my opinion. Dive kick. Can't be countered. <laughs> Um, hard to counter it, basically. It's super fast. Hits everything. Free launcher. Not a free launcher, but, um... 
hits people pretty good. Um, um, his uh, stand three, 10 frames, super fast, good move. Um, his, um, I keep forgetting his string names. Um, the little four to down one, little high into low, half screen low move. That's pretty cool. But most, most of the time, you don't really need his mids. You just need his jumping and his like little tentacle hover thing. Um, I, I think I think I saw like Mason like hover in the air with a little tentacle grab like like seven times in a row. I'm like, bro, are you gonna land or what? <laughs> he doesn't need to land. Um, his jump in normals are really good. Jump two, jump one, jump three. They're all really good, and uh, he has some great damage. Um, little the little box drill, the little down forward two. He can keep it safe if he when he meter burns it. It's like minus one, but if he doesn't, it's unsafe, obviously. Um, his back one, two, little long tentacle strike moves in the corner. Those are really good. His four, three, it's kind of slow, but it hits you. Like it hits you high. It hits you like in the air and shit. It's really good. Um, he has some beefy damage and his drones, um, uh, what was I about to say? Yeah. His uh, drones are like pretty. I mean, in my opinion, I think they work kind of like Batman to where he can like start his pressure. But see, the thing about his drones is that it can obviously convert in like some cool combos and stuff. But it's mostly just a setup tool. And in terms of, like how good it is, it's it works. You know, he recovers pretty quickly and and he can hold on to it whether he gets hit or not or if if or if he blocks something. So that's nice. That that that, that never used to be that way. If he blocked or if he got hit, it would go away. I believe it used to. So, um, yeah, Brynjolf's really strong. He can be kind of overwhelming, and uh, he can command the air like no other character. Um, he can get out zoned, but he has a lot of damage, so he can make up for it. He just needs like the bar. He just needs the one dive kick because his like other launcher one two up to it kind of scales it so you know not the best but um oh yeah his down one is low i forgot about that that one is low he can also extend his down one which makes his background bounce game scary off there a knockdown because he can do like instant air dive kick overhead or extend it down one which is a low and and which connects to his background bounce too so um yeah he's 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 got some crazy stuff his uh wake up game is kind of leash or quiche it's it's like so so subpar some um the uh the charge you can stuff it if you time the media properly but if not then you know you get hit by it and he has media burn version keeps it safe with pushback so uh, yeah um yeah that's pretty much it i think he's really good his aerial mobility is probably the best which makes him because like not many characters really have that besides hellboy and uh i guess catwoman for jump two and uh that's kind of it well i guess black manta too but i think he does the best in my opinion yeah like he commands the air the best so i'm gonna ask here robin is a tier i'm gonna speed this up a little bit i'll put him behind one woman actually he's super strong though because he he's like all about footsies neutral um He's kind of hard to punish because his assassin strike it's a minus like eleven, but it's like it, it bro it has like no block stun. So when you see it as minus eleven, you're like, oh, that's really punishable. But it has like almost no block stun when it happens, but it sucks you when it when it hits you. It's like, oh my god, bro, his his assassin strike. Um, his knockdown game is pretty real. Um, his like little burner ring setup afterwards. Don't get hit by it because it leads to a full combo because it has a lot of hits done. Um. His traits, pretty decent. Kind of keeps his pressure, you know, smoke and mirrors. To, not smoke and mirrors, but, you know. It kind of keeps his pressure at least somewhat alive. Other than that, he's a neutral character with an overhead. No low starter, but he has a great sweep. Great jump in three, two, and one. Um, his strings are pretty serviceable. You know, four, two, down three, overhead low. Uh, four, two, one, back two, uh, overhead launcher. Two one two one uh two one two, it has a gap in it that m almost any character can punish, 
but you have to actually know the timing for it. If not, then you just get hit by it. Um, his dragon flip, his, I said dragon flip, his sword flip, great reversal tool. He can meter burn to keep it safe. Again, you can also interrupt it, but at this point, honestly, I never even try to interrupt it because I don't want to get launched. Because when you trade, it never goes in your favor, so yeah. Um, what else does he have? He has a down one too, so that's cool, I guess. Um, he has a lot of range, and uh, yeah, he's a good neutral character. If you like neutral, play this character. Canary, uh, I'll put you in B tier. I'll put you behind Harley. She has some dummy thick mix of her goddamn Canary drop. Oh my god, bro. I hate that move. Her scream goes full screen. Light leaves you for a freaking combo. Um, her 2-1 or 2-3. Knee into overhead or low. Always a mix up. But most people just do the low anyway. Um, her jump ins are really good. Jump 3 and jump 2. Um, she has some parries. They're all right. Um, her little her little uh cartwheel thing, or like her front flip stance where she like does it on wake up. You can actually stuff her for that. Like it may look invincible, or, like it may feel invincible. You can actually just grab her, or you can just like punish her afterwards. Don't like don't like let canary players fool you with that. Um, her like little like knee attack where she like. Uh, her like soaring knee where she like um, meter burns in to continue her combo. That's a pretty cool tool. Unsafe though. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, her four two little overhead, a little slow overhead. That's like plus hecka. I don't know how much a plus on block it is, but it's like really plus. And uh, her three three is also plus. I think. I think it's like plus three. Her three three string either plus three or plus two. I just know it's plus. It's really good. Um, yeah, she's a good character. That's all I gotta say. She can get out zoned though, and uh, her damage is pretty crazy too. She has some good damage. Swamp so Thing, I'll put you in C tier. I don't think you're that bad, in my opinion. Uh, I think you're like right there. I don't think you're better than Blue Beetle. Swamp so Thing got some. Swamp so Thing has some neutral tool, actually. Like, a lot of characters in this game have. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. I'm not going to say that. But Swamp Thing has some cool stuff. He has 4 2, 2 3. Wait, is it? Yeah, 4 2. 4 2, 3 3. Little, little trunk move. You know, overhead. He has a log, meaty log. Meaty log. Safe on block, minus 4, I think. Hits twice, too, on the startup for a low attack. Um,. He has a vine command grab, but it's a high, so you can just duck it. Um, his like little branch boo, little broccoli <laughs> stomp. Uh, it's actually a high when it first comes out, but when he meter burns it, it's like minus one. I don't think it's plus. No, it's yeah, it's minus one. It's not plus on block. Um, his command grab, like his actual command grab, <laughs> the real one, not the not the vine grab, the uh, the green thumb. It's pretty good. Um, He's a tech throw off of it from down two, down one, two, one, and uh, I think that's it. I think, the, I think the back two, three, two string might have it. No, I don't think so. But yeah, he has a he has a command grab. He can change directions. He can do more damage with it. He can restand you and be plus something on hit in the corner. So it's pretty good. And he can, and he can get health back from it. And it's a good amount of health too. And he can do it twice too, actually. He can like do his health regen, and then he can do his ender. So it's a great command grab. Uh, his strings are hit or miss. He has back to three two little kind of like kind of like a noob cybot move where he has like his like little swamp hand or a swamp thing clone coming at you. Has a low to it and ends with overhead. His uh, Bayou Bash thing. He can like go underneath some projectiles and launch you. It's safe on regular attack. I think it's unsafe when he meter burns it, I think. Um, a little back 4-3, Bayou Bash. Um, what else? I think that's it, honestly. If he had, like, one of his gear moves, little spine burst, where he, like, shoots a little pin needles, I think he would be really good. But that's it.
Uh, his character trait gives him armor when he stands in it, but it goes away if he gets hit or whatever. So it does last for a while, and he can't jump out of it. It gives him armor. I said armor. It gives him armor off of standing three. His uh, broccoli stomp move is a uh, green thumb and all of his other special moves. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. But most of the time, you won't be seeing Swamp. I mean, you see Swamp King, best Swamp King in the world. And Brutal War, he's used to blame too. But uh, that's it. He's just C tier. Catwoman is A tier. Um, maybe you're S tier, actually. We'll, th we'll think about that later. I'll put you above. I'll put you above Wonder Woman. She's just annoying. She has, she has some far advancing mids. She has the best jump game with jump one and jump two and oh my god her cat her cat claw trait gives her plus frames oh my god it's just hard to it's just hard to get her because her back dash is like the best back dash in the freaking game lowers her hitbox to the ground goes so far and her cat dash is just can be hard to punish too if you're not ready for it like i said it has like a lot of it doesn't have that many block stun frames so when she's negative on it and you can punish her, you have to like be ready for it. Hold up. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Um she has some crazy she has some crazy damage. Um 30% combos. Um good corner game. Uh, she has back one, one, down three, low starter. She has a, uh, I think it's an overhead string. I can't remember what it was. Is it the four, two or back two? No, back two is like the little single string thing with the little whip move, whatever. Her, um, overhead is the four, two, one, four, two, one, one, or four, one, two. I don't, I don't play Catwoman. I don't play her. Sorry, y'all. Not an expert. Um, Okay, I don't know why this is, but, like, there's a string that she does that does... Okay, she has, like, a string, right? It's 3-3-3, three, 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 I think. Or 3-3-down-3. Three, three, three. Whatever that string is, I swear on the move list, I don't see it. But when I see someone else play Catwoman, they do, like, a different... They do the same string, but it ends differently. It ends, like, in an overhead, and she can, like, launch it. But, like, when I do it in practice mode or whatever, I don't see it. And, like, it just pops them up or not it pops them away but the one i see people do online is like i don't know what it is i'm probably talking some nonsense whatever she's really good carries jump two carries stupid ass catwoman players fucking backdash my shit she does she does c tier all she has is damage and that's it that's literally it her damage is like i mean it's good it's just whatever. I don't even want to talk about her too much. I really don't care about her. I don't even want to talk about her. Uh, she has tick throws, I think. I think one one's a tick throw. Down one, down two. She has a crouching command grab, you know, crouch block command grab. It's whatever. Um, her jump one cross is pretty good. Her trait just sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I can't talk about Cheetah. I honestly forgot she's in the game. People just play Vixen, you know, better skin. Don't bring her back for Injustice 3. <laughs> we already know that. But um, Her strings are kind of bad, too. Besides 1-1-2 uh, one, one, and 1-2 uh, grab, and then that's it. Like the 3-3-2 three, three, string. I mean, no one cares about that. Um, that's it, man. That's all she has. Lunge. Yeah, well, I will say when she meter burns the lunge, it is an actual throw and it does heck of damage, especially with traits. So just be watch out, just watch out for that. But other than that, you can just on her. Uh, Cyborg, I play a lot of Cyborg, and uh, I might put him at the end of B tier. I think he's actually stronger than you think, but he's really limited because his projectiles are really slow. And in a game like this, your projectiles gotta be kind of fast. Um, I know he's better. I know he's better than Blue Beetle. I think he, I think I'm putting him right here. I'm putting at the end of B tier. I think he has some good stuff. Like his uh his projectiles do the most damage. I think it has like ten percent every time it hits you. Nova Blaster. Uh, it it covers a lot. It covers a lot of area when he meter burns it. You know, 
upward, straight, straight, upward, even even in the air too. Um, his like little Sonic Disruptor, the little blue thing, blue arm cannon, safe on block, and it has push block. Um, his bionic fisting, it actually covers a lot of the aerial move, but in terms of wake up, it sucks. You read off doing his like low, um, low punch, <laughs> low sweep thing. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, his command grab sucks. He only has one tick throw, which is one one, and uh, yeah, I don't even use it. His his now nah, the command grab does a lot of damage, but it's just bad. <laughs> um, his like little grapple move it gives him armor on the first four, three to four frames. After the, other than that, he gets hit out of it a lot, so that sucks. And uh, yeah, his down two sucks, bro. His down two is like the worst down two ever. His down one's okay. His jump is are pretty good. Jump three hits you pretty good. Uh, pretty, 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 you hits you pretty well. His jump three, his jump two. Um, his two three plus some block or his minus one. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure people mash out there anyway. Um, his one two back two actually has a low in it that many people get hit by. And his uh, back two, uh, not back two, his back one, two, three, uh, he can cancel it with the Nova Blaster or um, Sonic Disrupture, either back dash it or forward dash it. Also, not many people know this, but when you cancel a move that has a dash to it, you can actually meter and roll through it. So if he does like his like Nova Blaster and he forward dash, he can actually forward dash roll and like go behind him. Not many people know that. Um, so yeah. Um... His back two, three, four, uh, back two, three, one string, the little low starter, where you can like wind it up. That one's okay. Decent meaty, decent meaty. His, dam his damage is pretty good though. Um, Cyborg's damage is really good. One, one, two, overhead, plus six, I believe. Um, one, one, three is like minus five, or I don't, I don't know the string frame data. It has an overhead, you can mix it up the low. That's all you need to know. His rockets used to be overheads in the uh, Justice 1, but they're just mids. You can actually cancel the rockets, too, before you shoot them out, so that's cool. Um, other than that, his corner damage is really good, too. When you do, like, um, when you do like back 1, 2, 3, meter burn, uh, straight Nova Blaster, you can get some, like, 40% combos. And he can, like, reset you with the uh, crossover grapple. And then he can do, like, jump 2, then do the same setup or whatever. Other than that, um, he's, a, he's not the best owner. He's probably the most damaging zoner. Uh, well, maybe not that. I think Starfire is probably the better one. I took that back. Never mind. His red does do a lot of damage. Um, that's it. He has some mobility, but he just suffers from getting out zoned out because he's too slow. Unless you do instant air, Nova Blaster, but even that, you know, not the best. His 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 uh his 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 projectiles don't like knock over. They just they don't they don't knock down their opponent. They kind of just like knock them up with the rockets and the Nova Blaster. So, well, not knock up, but you know they just hit you. That's all. Doctor Fates, definitely top ten. Just where though? With Superman, with Brainiac. I think Doctor. See, I had Doctor Fate like number three overall in like the entire roster, but honestly, I might put you like, I know you're still top ten, but I might put you like right here. Nah, uh, 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 I can't decide. I'll put him right here for right now. I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's better than Superman, but I'm putting him right there. Maybe I should put Catwoman higher. I might do that. Yeah, because she can punish a lot of stuff, man. Because her her small hitbox and shit. She she destroys Superman. What am I thinking of? Yeah, Catwoman is way better. In fact, nah, Catwoman is S tier. I'm gonna change that. She's S tier. Mm, my distaste for her. Okay, I'll put. I'll just do it like this. Uh, Doctor Fate, uh, great projectile, kind of like Sinestro, but it does more damage because he has his evil trait, which increases all of his damage and alters his special moves. His glyph. You can basically bait him on wake up, but it's safe on block, and he can do it again. Kind of like it's kind of like it's kind of like Cetron's rock wall. He can just keep doing it, and you can't really punish him unless you like have like a really really fast reversal. And um, his four two advancing mid pretty good. Uh, one one two has an overhead ender. Um, I like his string, a little two one one three string. That's a cool string. I like that string, but you know, no one needs to use it. Uh, his glyphs are actually not the not the glyphs, the uh, onks. 
when he meter burns, not meter burns it, when he uh, has the red trait on, he can like keep himself safe most of the time when he like meter burns, not meter burns, I keep saying meter burn, when he uh, plants it down on the ground, it like explodes and keeps him safe when he does like his unsafe shit. Uh, his his uh, meter burn orb, he can stop it in place to uh, kind of like keep himself safe and like pre uh, prevent jump overs and stuff. But some characters can slide under it, like uh, Flash can slide under it, and um, a couple other characters, Sub Zero, stuff like that. So uh, he's a strong character. Um, his combos are they're there; they do some damage. Um, you know, thirty percent. Um, his four, his uh, jump ins are really good. He has a good anti -air, he has a good anti air back too. So uh, good luck jumping on him. His jump one's really good too, and. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, his down one has his down one is really short though. It has like no range. His down one sucks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he has some he has some cool stuff. He has some cool tech. You just gotta play him. Uh, I'm putting him last here. I'll just put him there. G L Green Lantern. You're overrated as fuck. I'm a, I'm actually you know what I might put you like right here, Grod. I don't think you're that strong. I'm sorry, Hugh Wang Phoenix. I'm sorry. I don't know, man. I used to play him a lot. Maybe I should put him here. Well, he has back one. It's an, I think it's a nine frame low. But you can backdash both the back one three and the back one two. I'm pretty sure. Now, he does have lift. And if he has trade, it gives him a free launcher. But without trade, if it runs out, then he has to use a bar. Um, He does have some good cross-ups with jump three. And this jump one's pretty good too. Um, he mostly has uh, not staggers, but like not even like mix. He just has like a like he basically when he knocks you down, either he can do like a jump over or jump three and it hits you on the other side, or he can like bait you to like doing like four uh, four three or back one, you know, on, on wake up or whatever. So um, he has projectiles, but they're kind of slow. His uh little rocket, not the rocket, the uh regular always blasting meter burn. It's like super fast, mid knocks you down, super cool. Uh, bowling ball, you know, whatever. Uh, lantern, little lantern, directional thingy. That's all right. Um, and the uh, other one, or is that it? That's it actually. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Uh, I think yeah, is that it? Yeah, that's I'm pretty sure that's it. The the lantern, the, the regular blast, and the uh, bowling ball. Now he has the like little roll, the 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 green wall thing where you can meet a burn it. That's all right. It stops projectiles too. Um, it's two two three one string plus one. That one is kind of stubby and it kind of has like no range. So good luck enforcing his uh, block pressure. I don't know. Uh, Green Lantern seems like a really decent. Like he seems like a counter zoner plus swift punisher type of character, and he has some good damage. It's just kind of he can just be outdone. Honestly, he can get out damage. He can get out zoned. He can just be out bettered. So I don't think he's that strong. I I, I must stick with what I said earlier to get C tier. I'm just saying. We got Firestorm here. It's not because of just his blue trait. But I'm gonna put you like right here, actually. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you. Actually, no. I don't think you're that good. As, I don't think you're that good, Robert. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Maybe I put Running Woman too high. Did I put Running Woman too high? I feel like I did. I feel like I did. I don't know. Should I, uh, man, I then I put Aquaman too low. If I put one, if I put Wonder Woman this low, or if I put her this high. But not Aquaman. I feel weird about that. Oh, we'll think about it later. We're looking at Firestorm. Um, really good character. Back to overhead with trait level three maxed out. He can launch molten trap. Good check, kind of like sand trap from MK11. Good checking move. It is unsafe though, and you're too close. Um, his like little starfish move, little fusion burst whatever you call it um you can actually get some combos off of it and it's like minus one on block if a meter burns it and 
yeah, it's super good. Um, his back three has some good range. Jump one's good. Good, like, you know, air-to-air -air stuff. Uh, my eyes are itchy. Shit. Uh, his strings are okay. They got some mix to them. Like, he has, like, back one, two. Little low, uh, mid to overhead. Back one, Molten Trap. That's the obvious mix. He has, a uh, he has one, one, three, which is a low launcher. Not a launcher, but, you know, one, one, three, which has, like, a low attack. You can do, like, one, one, then you can stagger to back two. Again, his level three trait basically takes away the cake. Because it gives him a free reset, which leads into free more damage. He could do unblockable uh, combos with like the meter burn starfish, 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 stuff like that. Uh, his projectile is really good. Fusion blast. I think it's like three frame startup when he meter burns it, so really good. And uh, what else do I have to say? He has an air dash too. I almost forgot about that. What sets him apart from, let's say, well, he doesn't have to play neutral, but his normals are kind of stubby, and they're not exactly the best. Like he has like one one two, which is plus three, but the first two hits of one one two are highs. And then what else? I think that's his only plus on block string. Other than that, he needs to conserve his meter for launchers for like molten trap and stuff like that. He does have that little shield thing where he can get reduced damage the quarter circle back one that's pretty decent so um what sets him apart away from robin is that his frames are kind of lame and his strings are kind of so so for firestorm uh i think i'll put him above wonder woman though i'll, I'll just say that i think this is fine he's still a strong character don't get me wrong that like that jump to level three trait no joke especially in the corner Green arrow, you're going to be tier. I'll put you above Atrocitus, below with Supergirl. I'm gonna do this actually, Supergirl above. Yeah, that's fair. Hmm, green arrow. Um, kind of like Cyborg. His zoning takes a while to like get going because he has to like reload his arrows, otherwise he just do one percent. But he can shoot his projectiles in a crouching state, which is a huge advantage against characters that only have high projectiles. Huge advantage. He has Ice Arrow, full combo launcher. He has his Hurricane Bow, another full combo launcher. Savage Blast to keep himself safe. Um, uh, his like little slide move, it has the overhead meter burn version, so you gotta watch out for that. And it pushes back too if you do block it, so. Good luck trying to punish him. Um, Green Arrow is kind of like a safe zoner, you know. He like plays it. He like plays it safe, but he's kind of like a hit and run type of character where like he hits you with the ice arrow if he can, because he can do like he has like a string uh, four two down one three. It has a low and an overhead, so he can do like a low uh, a low arrow, which can also be the ice arrow, or he can do like a overhead arrow when he like does like a jump and he aims it down. So he has some stuff. Um, other than that. He's I, you know, good character, solid character. Not much more to say about him because we're already an hour and in. I don't want to make this too long. Uh, Black Adam is top five. Uh, better than this guy. Uh, he's better than Flash. Uh, yeah, I'll put him right here. Black Adam, Black Magic, win, win button trait, dive kick. Uh, four to one, four to one two, lightning, lightning strike, jazz hands. That's all I gotta say. I don't want to say anything more. He's really strong. Good counter zoner. Bad wake up game, but he just has a lot of damage. And shit. Remember, he used to have like 1%, I mean, not 1%, uh, one bar, 48 or 50% combos, or 45% combos. Man, that was, that was pretty nutty. Black Adam has a lot of plus frames of 112 and 113. His mids are pretty decent, and they launch like back 1 2, 2 2 back one and uh back two overhead so uh he has no lows so there's no reason to block low against him but if that's the case then you have to hold his plus frames and then you know strike throw shit so yeah be careful with black adam but he's like really strong captain cold oh boy obviously we all know about this Honda fox thing so i'll i'll just put him in the middle of the pack just to play it safe because i don't really know where to put him uh, 
The main thing with Black Oath Captain Cold is that he needs meat. He needs the first bar of meter, and he needs level two trait. And if your character can't deal with level two trait, then good luck. But if you but if you can, then Captain Cold's not that good. Um, is he better than Green Arrow? I think he beats these characters, Captain Cold, in my opinion. I don't think he beats Ivy though, in my opinion. So I'll just leave it at there. Um. Yes, like his overhead icicle drop, it, it comes out no matter what, even if it gets hit, so that's a pretty big deal, but he has a direction, and it takes a lot to drop anyway. Uh, his straight blast is alright. His ice puddle, again, like, if he doesn't have the meter at the first round, or at like the first hit, then he can't use meter burn ice puddle, which means he can't charge his trait, which means he can't be a threat, which means he's kind of lame. No, I'm just kidding, he's not lame. Uh, his jump one's really good, down one is also low. Um... He has a 1-2-2 two, two overhead string plus on block, uh, back 2-3-2 two, two also plus on block, but it's a high at the end, but it's zero on block. Uh, it's it's safe when he st uh, staggers it. 4-2-3 is zero on block, and he has a six, I think it's a, it's, it's a seven frame down one, and it's low. Um, so yeah, he has some good crazy ass strings when they buff them. He has a little ice circle thing that does damage over time he has the ice wall uh, absorbs other projectiles when he kicks it but it's also uh, yeah it, it absorbs other projectiles when he kicks it when he meter burns it he has a good down two I almost forgot to say about down twos he has a good down two also black has a good down two as well and he has a good down one um, I was to say about that about some characters my bad y'all great down two lowers his hitbox hits the other characters pretty easily um, his damage is pretty good when he has bar, but again, he has to freeze you and then hit you. So, so basically, do you want to take the combo damage or do you want to charge your trade? That's basically what you got to do about Captain Cold. But a lot of micromanagement, but he's really good. He's still solid. Uh, Scarecrow, solid character. I'm going to put you, like, right here. Um, a lot of range. He can kind of not like play the lame game because he does have a teleport, so he has a way of like getting around. And his fear blast it can be meter burn to make it, or his fear nato can be meter burn to be like plus six and shit. And his fear blast is like minus eight, but it spaces out, so kind of hard to punish him. He has some great range of four to one, four to two, and his one two three string is like plus two on block. He has a down one tick throw, down two tick throw, stand three tick throw. On his command grab, really cool looking command grab too. Um, his like little helicopter chain can be canceled to make it safe. Meter burns it for a combo launcher. His breath is kind of useless, but you know you don't really need to do that. Now his traumatized trait is really good because it does damage over time, and when he teleports, it tracks you, so there's no there's no escaping it. When it builds up, he gets a free combo launcher and it restands, and he gets it straight again. Uh, the more he does fear type of attacks like fear nato fear blast fear breath and when he meter burns little hook grab the little back forward one and he meter burns it to restand you and he's like like what, plus 10 or something or plus 12 when he like does whatever that also builds his traumatized better so you can also do his fear blast in the air i was going to say that four three back they're really cool range attacks down to a lot of range that's all i gotta say a lot of range gotta play neutral but he has to teleport dark side uh He's kind of weak because his up game claim, his up game, his up close game is kind of lame. I think he's like right here. No, he's like right here. No, I think he's better than Green Lantern though. But no, I'll put him right here. Yeah. I see the thing with like him and versus Cyborg, because technically Dark Side should win against Cyborg, and that is the case. You know, then mm. that means I gotta put Cyborg like at C tier. Should I do that? Mm. I'll think about it. It feels weird because, like, I know, like, overall, Cyborg, I mean, these two are basically interchangeable. Interchangeable characters, that's what I'm gonna say. Because I know Scarecrow. Scarecrow couldn't win. See, the thing with, like, uh, Cyborg. Um, if he does like his air 
blasts and scarecrow teleports you can punish him so you gotta be careful about that and also cyborg has way more recovery on his projectile if he's standing so maybe i should switch them what do you guys think i oh, don't know whatever i'm just doing it this way for right now um dark side he has a teleport but you can just forward walk and down to him every time aquaman is where smash up for sure uh, his lasers can be kind of annoying, but just duck and just walk forward, you know. His stomp is lo his stomp is a low, but I swear, I see people, like, block his jump in, which is the overhead. Like, his jump two, jump three, which are overheads, except for when they're mids. I think either when he's going up or... Unless, unless Darkseid's coming down and doing a jump attack, then they're over, then they're mids. Or they're overheads. But if he's coming up and doing, like... If he does, like, instant jump two and then does low stomp then i think it's a mid but if he's coming down from teleport he does like jump two and does like back one up three then it's overhead so yeah uh dark side's pretty unsafe on a lot of his stuff his special moves are unsafe except for the knee which is like plus on block good reversal tool too it can break armor but it whips sometimes um his one one two is plus but it kind of sucks he has like he has like no mids his slow ass overhead is unsafe and he launches it, but he has another ender, but you can back that shit. Uh two one is that boot into low attack, low laser kind of he has to cancel it to make it safe. He does if he does two two three, he has an overhead ender, but you know, I think it's unsafe too. Um he has teleport shenanigans. His trait's okay. He has to pair demons, but most of the time, Dark Side is just gimmicks, and he's not exactly what you think he is. Not the best boss character. Uh, let's move along to Joker. I think you're better than Cheetah, but uh, Joker's kind of low tier. His corner game is pretty good, though. But uh, Crowbar, safe on block. He has plus frames, but he's kind of stubby. And. You honestly don't let Joker get away with a lot of stuff, like his like little teeth stuff. If you have like a, it's like if you're like Black Adam and he does like if he does like if if Joker does like let's just say two one two into low teeth or whatever, just do four and one two and just get out the range of it, then you're fine. Just just you gotta like punish him before he basically gets you. So like don't let Joker get momentum. Um, Joker does have some dirt with his. Overhead low mix ups with low teeth and his jump attacks. His jump attacks are really good too. His crowbar has some good range with down two and uh four two as well. And uh and jump three. I was right about that. Uh I like his parry, but you know, it's just a parry. Gunshot can be cancelled. Um low gas, combo launcher. Uh but yeah, that's it. His trait sucks by the way though. Make it even faster and nope. So far best character in the game. Uh, S tier. Sub Zero. This is only 20 minutes. I'm getting tired of making this video. <laughs> Sub Zero is B tier. Uh, I'll put you right here. Uh, Meter Burn Ice Ball, Slide 4 3, Ice Hammer. That I'm not really going to talk about these characters anymore. I don't really feel like it. Red Hood is right there with Sub Zero, in my opinion. Black Manta is A tier. Finally, we have an actual AT character. Goddamn, it's been a long time. I'll put him above Wonder Woman. I might put him right here. Yeah. That there to his back. That's like that top 10. Raiden, Booty, Adam, top three. Hellboy, also A tier. Enchantress, I'll put you at high B tier. Mm -mm, I'll get to Enchantress later. Uh, TMNT, Leo is B tier. You're like right there. You're like right above Harley. Uh, Michelangelo, C tier. I'll put you like right below Bane. Donnie, D tier. Ralph, D tier. Mm, I'll put Raiden right here. At least Raiden has damage. Raph, nah. I'll put Donnie above Deadshot though. Let's only have some cross ups and shit. That's it. Uh, I know I skipped like the, what, the last ten characters. My kind of dart. Uh, Enchantress. Should I put her A tier? I feel like I should because she has some good counter zoning shit. Whoops. With like a little like little Hell's Gate thing that like 
parries all projectiles and it like re- returns it back to them. Her demon is really annoying. Um, her little uh, curses could be kind of annoying too because it makes you either it stops you from doing special moves or you take a lot of damage for them. Um, her little shield thing where she like takes damage from her super meter instead is kind of lame. I mean, it kind of, it's really annoying too. Um, her air dash jump to cross ups are annoying too. Her one two two string with the overhead in it is really annoying too. Back one two three, annoying as well. Four two three is her freeze combo string. So her little two one with the little unblockable or the uh or the parry move pretty annoying too. She's a pretty annoying character, but she's super strong. She has some good setups too. Okay, hold on. Let me see where my top ten is first. I'm gonna put Adam second. Black Adam's third. Batman fourth. Flash fifth. I might put Flash at six though. I I think Brainiac's top five in my opinion. I'll put there. I'll leave it at that. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Hmm. Robin top ten. Should Black Man to be top 10? I'll put Wonder Woman back here. Then I'll put Hellboy. I'll leave Hellboy right there. I might put Aquaman at A tier. I might. Actually, I will. Actually, I will. I will. Which makes them 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th. He's outside top 15. That's pretty fair. In my opinion. 16, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm trying to think, like, who could be, like, top 20. Um, well, this is pretty fair. I think this is fair. I think Atrocitus is, like, the middle point of, like, the whole cast anyway, so. Leo could be top 20. But... The thing about Leo is that he can get outzoned, so... These other characters can't really be outzoned, but he can. I know Harley Quinn can't really be either, so maybe I'll put him above that. And yeah, that's this is this is fair right here. Maybe I'll put Cyborg down here actually with Dark Side after all. Yeah, because this seems a little bit more. This makes a little bit more sense. Wait, where's it? Wait, oh, oh my God, where's Enchantress about to say? Um, shit, man. Think, think, think. Is she better than Superman? She does kind of wreck him because she can go underneath his stuff because her small hitbox is crazy. Oh yeah, her four three is her four three is pretty good too. She can direct it. Is she better than Doctor Fate? Well, she can parry a lot of stuff too. Oh man, is she better than Flash? Uh, she's really good. Is she S tier material? I mean, I seem to think so. What she doesn't have is basically she has a mid, you know, she has a sweep. Her down two is amazing. She, I think she has a six frame down one. I Or is it a six frame down two? I can't remember. I can't remember. All of her strings are safe, by the way, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's S tier. I'll put her right there. Final answer, there. I'll put Batman to there, too. There. All right, this is our tier list. I'm done. Bye. Thanks for watching.